Barry Togard time. Look at that man. Look at that buff boy. Do you want um, the red hat? I'm going to grab it. Sure, get a red hat. Red hat for Terry. <laughs> it's not a Fatal Fury hat. All right, I don't actually want to wear this, but Terry has a red hat, and I have a red hat. Aren't we festive today? <laughs> You're gonna have to, you'd have to put it under. Are you actually going to wear it? No. Okay. Oh, right, here, here we, we go. go. Hi, Sakurai. Konnichiwa. This is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. The Super Smash Bros. Ultimate who you are. was recently honored with five awards at this year's Japan Game Awards. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he's got the Neo Geo he's there in the fight stick. awards on top of that as well. Each award is very meaningful to me, so I would like to take the opportunity to extend my thanks to all those who have voted and to all those who have supported us. Thank you so much. He has four controllers. You think he's going to use all of them? Without further ado, <laughs> and the white stick. <laughs> First, we'll start with what the Neo Geo is. Ah, uh, okay. It refers to now I see how this is 45 minutes. Ah, uh, I hear the music. <laughs> and at home, as well as to the name of the system itself. In 1990, the equivalent to the Super NES had only just released in Japan. So if you wanted to play arcade games at home before then, the only option was to play the less polished ports on the Nintendo Entertainment System. However, with the Neo Geo system, you could play the arcade, like arcade perfect. at home with no drop in quality. 1990 was right around the year that I started working for a game company. Back then, Japan had rental services for arcade games. In other words, you could go to a rental store, rent an arcade game, take it home, and play it. After that, they were sold for home use, but a single game would cost about 30,000 yen. That's expensive. But if you think about it, compared to playing a game in the arcade 300 times at 100 yen per play, you're getting your money's worth. At the time, some people actually thought this was cheap. I mean, there really are people who played games in the Super Smash Bros. series 1,000 or even 10,000 times. Right. Anyway, the MBS, as it was called then, was sold in various places, and for an arcade machine, it wasn't all that expensive. You could also get them on lease. Wow. That's why you'd end up seeing lots of candy stores having a Metal Slug cabinet. Metal Slug? That game's fun. Home version of the Neo Geo. That's SNK2, I think. Yeah. Maybe we'll get some spirits. It has four buttons. Yeah. And this is four instead of six. Itself. Here is the reset button, and here you slot in the big game cartridges. It's giving like a little history this lesson. The Neo Geo. Just kidding. Oh! Wow! Actually, this is the Neo Geo X, the portable version that was released afterward. Huh. You could also insert it into this docking station and play it as a home. <coughs> That's console. cool. Jeez, I'd love to have one of those. A portable, multi purpose console. Updated iterations of past systems are emblematic of the Neo Geo. Next, let's talk about what Fatal Fury is. It released in 1991. There the it is. Street Fighter 2. But this one came later. <coughs> it launched after Burn Street Fighter Narco. 2. Like many of the other fighters, Fatal Fury was often regarded as a title that was developed to capitalize on the popularity of Street Fighter 2. But that's not really the case. Actually, both Street Fighter 2 and Fatal Fury were developed using the original Street Fighter as a foundation. Mm. In fact, the development of Fatal Fury was started by one of the planners of Street Fighter. Hmm. Did I just hear you say, wow? <laughs> this one is also a multiplayer focused fighting game. In this story, someone named Jeff Bogard is killed by Geese Howard. Geese Howard starts up a fighting tournament in Southtown, which he runs. To avenge his father's death, Terry enters the tournament, which is known as King of Fighters. Hmm. I mentioned the term King of Fighters, <coughs> something you may have heard before. Yes, there's actually a popular series called the King of Fighters, and that series was named after the fighting tournament within the world of Fatal Fury. And Terry Bogard, who is the protagonist of Fatal Fury, also appears in all the games in the King of Fighters series as one of the main characters. 
If you want to play a game from either of the Fatal Fury series or the King of Fighters series, many of them are available now on Nintendo Switch as part of the Arcade Archive series. You may not know which one to play first, but my recommendations from the Fatal Fury series would be Fatal Fury Special. From the King of Fighters series, my recommendation would be the King of Fighters 95. But if you want to play a fighting game with all sorts of strategic elements, then I recommend the King of Fighters 98. Next, How I'll give you some wave. insight on Harry Bogart. Actually, this video was recorded about one month prior to its release. That's because we need to translate and edit videos like this one, and that takes time. Hmm. The game footage you see here is not from the final production ROM, so please understand that there may be some elements that differ from the final game. Since we have the opportunity, I want to talk about Terry using a lot of SNK lingo, meaning in this discussion the younger generations may feel a little out of the loop. Yeah, probably me too. But there's nothing to worry about. When we released the original Nintendo 64 version of Super Smash Bros., I was often asked, who is Samus? <laughs> Whether or not the character is fun to play as is more important than whether the character is new or old, or whether the character is recognizable to everyone. Gino confirmed. <laughs> I want to make sure I present Terry to you in such a way that you can fully understand his appeal. So thank you. Okay, let's begin. I almost clapped just then when he bowed. <laughs> just like my brain. Terry Bogard, okay. Here we go. This is Terry Bogard in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. He's Looking still good. wearing an outfit that reflects the era of his original I game, hope he has his but we did our best to make outfit. him look cool in a variety of ways. Uh, when he stands next to Ryu, no, he almost really makes cool. you wonder, is this really a Super Smash Bros. game? <laughs> Doesn't it? Just like you, when you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, he'll face the opponent. Right. Actually, he always looks in the opponent's direction. Even if you move him to a location behind the opponent, he'll quickly mm. turn around, always keeping his focus on the opponent. Watch Let's him, like, change lanes. <laughs> That'd be His weird. neutral attacks are jab, body blow, and high kick. Each move is something familiar from the Fatal Fury series. And his dash is power charge. Oh, okay. This is a move you can use in real bout Fatal Fury special and others. In the original series, it was one of his special moves. His tilt attacks are middle kick, rising upper, and underkick. Compared to Ryu, his attack speed is slower. This is to match his original series. Now for smash attacks. First up, backspin kick. This smash attack is the equivalent to his strong attack, but the motion is even cooler than in his original series. He looks really cool. I mean, just like his animation and stuff. upper, and slide kick. And his design I like. Both yeah. are from the original series. Then his mid-air moves. Jump, then chop. Jump, then kick. Jump, then backward kick. And then somersault kick. <laughs> However, That's really cool looking. Kick is not included in the original Wait until he does a rising tackle. But we needed a move to attack up. Mm. So we created a new move. Okay. Yeah, yeah I've never seen it. It looks really cool. Also, jump and then karate punch for a down air attack. If you successfully pull off a down air, it's possible to attack with a meteor oh. effect, as you can see here. Wow. It's basically like Ryu's. Next, I'll cover his throws. His forward throw is his familiar buster throw. His back throw is also buster throw. And his down throw is neck breaker drop. <laughs> in fact, he used it in the game Fatal Fury, Wild Ambition. I miss playing that game on Hyper Neo Geo 64. <laughs> and then, his up throw is grasping upper. This sort of dodge attack can be performed after a spot dodge. I mentioned dodge attacks. And this actually does exist. During a spot dodge, immediately press the button to counter attack. Cool. During a dodge attack, your upper body becomes invincible, so this kind of move gives you the advantage when you counterattack. Now for a special Let's go to soul. Uh, yeah. Because there's real world He's places and stuff. With just the B button. There's like fighters from Korea. Power wave! 
Depending on how long you press the button, you'll use one of two types. Yeah, I was right. That is his neutral B and strong. Or his neutral special. This one is weak and kind of slow, and this one is strong, fast, isn't it? For Ryu, in his original game, you used three buttons, so there were weak, medium, and strong attacks. For Terry Bogard, you could use four buttons in his original game, but there were only two buttons for punch. So that's why he only has two attack levels, weak and strong. This rule applies to all of his special attacks, so please keep that in mind. By the way, the attack power wave is a move that shoots energy along the ground. But how does it look in the air? In his original game, you couldn't use this move in the air. Oh. This is how it looks now. Huh. As of the King of Fighters 96, the power wave ability had a shorter range, so we've recreated that version of the move. It's a useful move in midair and helps keep opponents in check. Next, we have a special performed while holding in the direction of your opponent, Burning Knuckle. Yeah. This move also has a weak and strong version, as well as a command input. Like the Hadouken command input from Street Fighter 2, you perform this command using the directional inputs, down, to the side, in the direction of your opponent, and then press the button. Doing so makes the move a bit stronger. Cool. This means that Burning Knuckle has four variations. Weak without command input, and strong without command input. And weak and strong with it. Weak with command input, hmm. and strong with command input. The strong version using the command input is of course the most powerful. You'll hear a noise when you input the command. Hmm. And if you've succeeded, this you might also mix the green them. mixed in with the flames. It may be slight, but there is a difference. The strong version with the command input really is strong, even capable of KOing opponents. It can be blocked, however, so be on the lookout for that. In such a case, you'll be left wide open. And this is a first for the Super Smash Bros. series, but the side specials are split into two versions, a back special and a front special. Wow. That means hmm. there's one more side special than usual. Crack ah, shoot. Crack Shoot. This is wow. a familiar move from his original game. There's also a command input version. It's performed by using... So it's like, a, it's like a real fighting game. <laughs> ...followed by the A or B button. So he's got an extra special move altogether. That's really cool. The command version can launch your opponent quite a bit further. Plus the four versions of it. It creates a bit of an arc, so it can be used as an anti-air attack when your opponents try to hit you. At close range, if you happen to be blocked by a shield, it's hard to be counter-attacked because you'll pass through them. There's something I want you to remember. When you do a crack shoot off screen, this is how it will look. Terry swings with his whole body when using Burning Knuckle and Crack Shoot, so it can be hard to recover. Mm. However, if you keep pressing backwards without inputting commands, you should be able to initiate Crack Shoot in the direction you're trying to recover. Let me show you one more time. Do this, then continue to press backward. Mm. And then you can recover. If you press too quickly or input some commands, you'll fly right off the stage, so be careful. Mm. And this is his up special, Rising Tackle. Rising Tackle. It also has weak and strong versions, each with differing heights. Rising Taco. And did you notice that if you hold down briefly to charge, your whole body glows a little? Mm. In this case, your whole body will be invincible at the start. Either way, your legs will be invincible. Here's an example of this invincibility in action. With the standard Rising Tackle, He's gonna be really I good. I feel like I myself at them. possibly, but with Rising Tackle's charged command version, you can't be hit at this moment, so you come out on top. You can of course use Rising Tackle as a recovery as well. Even after using Burning Knuckle or Crack Shoot, you can still use Rising Tackle. This is also very helpful when you're trying to recover, so please keep that in mind. His down special is Power Dunk. Power Dunk! His down special is Rear Egg. 
Pops out the grenade egg. This side down diagonally down command input is also known as a Shoryuken command. If you can pull it off, you'll be invincible at the start of the move. Power down! Also, you can hear a sound when it connects. But it might be tough to make out. Now, let's talk about canceling specials. I'd really like you to keep this in mind. First, if you use a special after attacking with a standard attack, the special won't come out until the move animation has finished. That makes sense, right? But here's what happens if you cancel out of it. At this moment here, if you've successfully entered a special command input, the rest of the animation will be cancelled, allowing you to attack again immediately. That's cool. I'll do that again. Throw out a kick like normal. And once your leg extends, you'll perform the move. Set it up so that when you attack, you can go straight into a special. This will increase your offensive options. Please try this out. For example, neutral attack 1, 2, and power down. This is a bread and butter combo. Aside from that, <laughs> you can also get Terry to fly out and attack in an M shape. In his original game, you could only cancel attacks on the ground, but in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it's possible to cancel aerial moves. The types of aerial attacks that you can cancel are limited to things like neutral air attacks or down air attacks. But I think it would be wise to use these combos to expand your offensive options. And at last, Here we go. Final Soy Smash. Soy sauce for geese. His final Smash begins with Triple Geyser. Oh, Triple Geyser. Terry will shoot three so no Buster Wolf? However, if you think that's all, you're very Oh, mistaken. Buster Wolf? Yep. That's nice. As you can see, if Triple Geyser connects, you'll follow up with Power Dunk and Buster Wolf. It's three moves in one. <laughs> it's a visually striking combo. It's pretty cool. You may be wondering what happened to his original super special moves. Yes, they're here too. With the usual rules, when Terry's damage meter rises up to 100% ah. or higher, oh, like Little Mac, kind of sometimes. Yeah, this was this was like a mechanic of like see this go icon at the, the games. Of the at this point, if you enter this specific command. You can initiate the power oh, geyser you see here. The command input is, if I borrow the way it's said in the original game, down, angle down, side, angle down, forward. Well, it's a bit complicated. Downward, then backward, then forward. You see? It is an action game after all, so you get to control the direction of your punch, be it right or left. In that case, no matter which direction you're going for, just swap the right input and left input. It's like this. Downward, then backward, then forward. Or down, and then the opposite direction, if that's forward. I think he's having a lot of fun doing and that. And then, there's his other super special move. Oh, are you okay? Buster Wolf. Buster Wolf! You can initiate this one by repeating the Hadoken command input Hypnotizing. Twice. Down to <laughs> yeah, side, yeah. then down to side again. <laughs> He's secretly just... That's nice. I like his voice. It can be rather difficult voice. to pull off moves uh, using the original game's command inputs, but you can also use simplified command inputs. In the case of Power Geyser, remember this. Down, side, down, oh. forward. As long as you input the command downward to the side, to the back, downward again, and then forward, you should be fine. In the case of Buster Wolf, I like how he's really like trying to help people to like mm -hmm. get these commands and stuff. That should be easier to remember. Even though the command input is complex, it can still be blocked with ease. 
Since these moves can only be used when Terry has taken a lot of damage, you'll be in even more danger if your opponent blocks. So they're high risk and high return. Please save them for when you really need to make a last ditch effort. You can use it again and again, but be careful. Your opponent may be able to predict your move and take action. Essentially, it's best to use it when it's least expected, or to cancel out of a combo, like this. Fireworks go off. That's cool. For the taunts, I decided to match his original game. His up taunt is Hey Come On, come on, come on. from the King of Fighters series. His down taunt spins his hat like in the real bout series. And his side taunt is Stand Up from Gutto, Mark of the Wolves. That'd be cool if Rock came up. I've demonstrated him using various special moves in the game so far, and you can hear his voice. Like that. Rock you! We've incorporated both his longer <laughs> remarks, like Power Wave, from older titles, and his shorter remarks, like Rock you, from yeah. newer titles. And here are his color variations. So no female Terry, people were hoping There's for that. Yeah. He doesn't have his uh, Garo outfit either. It's basically like him without his hat, mm -hmm. longer hair, I've and like it, a, yeah. a Leon Kennedy from, from RE4. That's cool they referenced the anime. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sometimes takes off his cap too. For example, it happens during his victory pose. His cap also blows away when he is defeated in stamina mode. Hmm. Oh. Stadium. The stage is called King of Fighters Stadium. It looks like one hardcore fighting yeah. policy. Rio, Joe, and uh, what's her name? I forgot. The text above the Jumbotron reads, King of Fighters, without the. When we talk about a game title, we need V up front, but the name of the tournament in the game's story is just King of Fighters. This is a very unique stage, and it follows some rules that haven't existed in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before. First, the edge is walled off. In the Super oh, Smash like a Bros. fighting series, game. you need to launch opponents off the stage. Here, however, the more damage a fighter has accumulated, the more the wall will visually uh, see when they're launched into it. Can you see? Eventually, fighters cool. will break right through the wall. <laughs> there are fireworks in the back. That's gonna be fun. Basically, this special feature allows you to probably KO get some combos off of bouncing people off the wall and stuff. Damage. That way, you can enjoy the battle more like you would in a traditional fighting game. Mm. When you're close to the walls, <laughs> it's possible to be KO'd even when your damage is low. It's just like in regular stages. In the real bout Fatal Fury series, there was a feature in which the walls could be destroyed and players could suffer a ring out when they hit the wall. This isn't exactly the same, but we made it kind of similar to that. We hope you'll enjoy playing at this stage with all its special rules. By the way, there are guest characters in the background, right? Mm -hmm. Since we have the opportunity, I'd like to introduce them to you. First up, That's Andy his brother. Bogard. He's the adoptive brother of Terry Bogard. Mm -hmm. Both of them were adopted from an orphanage and raised by Jeff Bogard. However, while Terry's teacher was Jeff Bogard, Andy studied under Mai Shiranui's father. He uses the Kopoken fighting style. Joe Higashi. He's one of the three main characters from earlier games in the Fatal Fury series. He's the only one that doesn't have any connection to Geese Howard. He's a Muay Thai champion. Kung Fu Ru. He's the master of the Holy Fist of Eight Ways. And he also trained Jeff Bogart. He can enlarge his body as well. Billy Kane. He's been in many Fatal Fury games since the first one. And he's the right hand man of Geese Howard. While he appears in the first game, his costume is Andrew based Geese on his appearances in King of Fighters 97 onwards. You can't really see his back, but the no smoking symbol is definitely there. <laughs> hey. Geese Howard. He's the big boss of Southtown. And he's the rival of Terry Bogard. Falling off of buildings is his thing. 
Hey, Rock! Rock. His first appearance was Garo, Mark of the Wolves. He's the son of Geese Howard, and Terry actually raised him. That means his appearance in this game at this age with that look doesn't really jive with the timeline. Yeah, but he's supposed to be really little. Kind of like that to begin with, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kim Kapwan. He uses hey, Taekwondo he's from, and he's from Korea. himself a fighter for justice. His Ho'okaku is very famous. Yuji Yamazaki. His first he's got a lot of cameos. Yeah. Holy crap. It's like everyone. Known as dark broker. He's very selfish and sadistic. Blue Mary. Her first appearance Her and Terry Fury have a thing. She uses combat sambo. Uh, at least she's it's suggested. Terry's. Yeah. Those were the characters from the Fatal Fury series. But from here on, let me introduce characters from other series. Athena Asamiya. She's a psycho soldier. Psycho Soldier is a memorable game released around 1986, and it was the first title to feature a fully voiced theme song within the game. This hmm. epic song was also remixed for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it was recorded in both Japanese and English. Wow. Huh. Music start. Shouk Sanagi. He's the protagonist of the King of Fighters series, and he uses the ancient martial arts Sanagiryu. Speaking of the protagonist, there are differences depending on which version. Iori is definitely going to be here then. He's the dude with the red hair. Anyway, he is forever a school kid. Yori Yagami. Originally, he was introduced as Kyok Sanagi's rival, but when I first saw this character in the game at the time, due to his look and attitude, I thought whoever created this character must be a genius. Goro Daimon. Good he's grief, it's like medalist, 20 of them. Yeah, he's pretty much put like the whole King of Fighters roster. Chang Hohan and Choi Bong. Jeez. One is an escaped convict, and the other is a slasher. They are currently undergoing rehabilitation. They had to make all these character the models. Yeah. How'd they turn this out in a couple months? Ralph Jones well, I mean, obviously they've been working yeah. on that. Originally, but. they were main characters in the Ikari Warriors series. Ikari Warriors, yeah. They appeared as guests. So I guess we're gonna see Nakaruru and her bird. Yo Sakazaki, the protagonist. Apparently Sakurai used fighting. to like main him or the something. The original art of fighting was released just before Fatal Fury 2. That means it was the first game to implement a true super special move. How could I not include him? <laughs> King. Her first King. appearance was in Art of Fighting, and she's a bouncer and bodyguard. She is a beautiful woman with an androgynous sense of style. Next, Yuri Sakazaki. She was kidnapped in the first Art of Fighting game, but after that, she trained hard and mastered Kyokushin. Well, now I see why this is 45 minutes. <laughs> in other words, she's a genius. He just loves SNK yeah. stuff. I mean, King of As Fighters see, is basically just many characters. the Smash Brothers of SNK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's very cumbersome. I mean, it takes a lot of time. But so many people love each and every one of these characters. So just like random ones show up. Their individual series. So we simply had to do our best by them. That's cool. By the way, you may have noticed that a very important character from the Fatal Fury series was not included. Nakaruru, she's an assist. Yes, Mai Shiranui. Oh, no. Mai. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is for good boys and girls in many different She's, uh... Characters. So we decided not to feature her. Wow. <laughs> but the chat's raging right now. My music features a variety of tracks. But bouncy. affects which special guests will appear. For example... There's a track called Pasta, Super Smash Bros. is for good boys and girls. Andy Bogart will always appear. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you look forward to that as well. Rip. No <laughs> Okay, I'm done providing information. So now, let's jump into some actual battles. Here we go. This time, Make I'm him look really awesome, Sakurai. Oh. On top of that, He's I gonna show the classic mode too. Highest intensity level. Let's see if I can get all the way up to intensity 9.9. .9. We're just gonna watch him play the game. Honestly, playing the game in extreme difficulty while doing commentary is extremely hard. Sakurai Let's One Play going on right now. Both at once forces me to divide my attention, but that means I should do my best at both. I'll do my best. First, this route is named the King of Smash. Three characters who have some sort oh, of. Oh, you can tell he just loves this. A, set, a challenge that looks somehow familiar. Okay, the first intensity level is 5.0. I should be fine. 
All battles in Terry's route are stamina battles. This stage's special KO rule that I talked about earlier isn't the best match for stamina rules, but oh well. On his route, a lot of stages feel like they're from a traditional fighting game. Okay, I did it anyway. Beta! Of course, even in this mode, it's not impossible for me to try for a KO, but normally it'll be over before that. There. Done. <laughs> he did the taunt like at the saying, end. Give me something. <laughs> Next, round two. It's the Legend of Zelda team. Just because characters are in a team because of their similarities, that doesn't mean that they have to be from the same game. Yeah. This is Let's Go to Seoul, Kim Kapwan's team. And I've got it set up so that we don't move from the bottom of Prison Tower. It would be easiest to simply knock him off the screen, but I'm not going to do that, because it's not as fun to watch. Oops, I knocked him off. Over here. <laughs> it's like putty in his hands. Yep. Will he do it? <laughs> Alright. The boomerang's not coming back. <laughs> boomerangs don't come back to dead men. <laughs> That'd be cool if he said that. Oh no! <laughs> the tables have turned. Oh. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> he wears his cap backward when he does a power dive. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Kings. Oh, the kings. All the giants are lined up. Of course, the music giants. chat is Taku and Steppy. Of course, he says. You might wonder who Taku and Steppy are. But it seems like it means Tanaka and Kitamura. This track is from Fatal Fury 2. There's a giant wrestler named Big Bear, and this is his track. Regardless of the track name, it's a really famous hard rock song. So please give it a listen. The original song was called Yusha Raiden. There's that masked wrestler. Big Bear is his true identity. He's called Raiden. <laughs> Jump! I'm beginning to find We're just watching him play the whole <laughs> the whole classic mode. This the whole is great. Is a little different than how it's been up until now, right? We've been to arena style flat stages, but suddenly we're at a battlefield form stage. Oh, there's an item. You watch him go to his fridge and get a beer and start playing Stardew Valley. Oh, he's metal. <laughs> Now that I'm thinking about it, I suppose both Lady Palutena and the Athena games were possibly an homage to the Athena of Greek mythology. Mm. Plus, I wanted to do something where two characters who are similar, or have similar abilities, are together. It's a nice Kokugenyu team. I hope uh -oh. instead of like Master Hand, Crazy Hand, we get like Ryu and Ken at the if end. If I let my guard down, uh, yeah, that'd I be hope he'll easily be defeated, so I need to pay attention. Not bad, you. Where he just introduces a new boss character. <laughs> we fight geese. Fight Gino. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That'd be crazy. By the way, everyone just goes, What? moves like crack shoot to aim for overhead platforms, so they have some utility to them. Yeah. He looks super fun. I kept her in check. Yeah. That was close. <laughs> looks like that fire bar didn't work out for her. It's getting brutal. The intensity is close to 8. You could say the opposing team is comprised of heroes from different companies. Sonic and Terry are on the stage. Actually, Sonic and Terry were both created in 91, so they're the same age. 
<laughs> Fun fact. And the next year, in 92, Kirby was born. Mm. Everyone's getting old. <laughs> Aww. But they're still on active duty. That really made me sad. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's getting now, old. It's easier to fight on slope ground. You got a birthday in three days. Yeah. And using crack shoot, it's a special Everyone's getting old is the, like... Yikes. It's the sequel. The tagline for the. <laughs> Everyone's getting old. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Just old versions of all the characters. Next, Mega Man. I'm turning 32 towards the end of this month. Oh. I was born in 87. That was bad. Don't go off screen. Ah, he went off. I'm sorry. And now. Pac-Man from 1980 is here. Of course, this character was made by Bandai Namco Studios, but when I talk to their team, I'll call him your company's character. They always come back saying, oh yeah, our company's character. <laughs> I often have these kinds of exchanges with them. Oh, that was close. But I won't give in until the very end. Because I've got a super special move. How was that? Not enough? I see. <laughs> well, how about now? Yeah! Nice. It's bad to keep using the same move. Seriously. <laughs> Next, you can Ooh. call this Team Darkness. Okay. I was wondering what was Bayonetta doing in there, but yeah. <laughs> What's she doing with these freaks? Oh, it's on top of a tower, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Four side, right? Oh, not good. Yeah. Up next is Ganondorf. Right. I don't want to get hit by him. Not even once. He's huge. Yikes. You can't take things lightly in moments like this one. <laughs> Terry Bogard beating up move. the King of Darkness from <laughs> Zelda. It's just weird. Yeah. What is this I know thing? that's the whole point of Smash Brothers, but just you see stuff like this, like yeah. Banjo fighting Samus and his presentation, Terry Bogard fighting uh, freaking Ganondorf, yeah. King of the Gerudo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now he's fighting Bayonetta. Yeah. Just like yep. holy crap. I'm giving this everything I've got. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, that was just dangerous. Pulling off that midair jump was risky. Uh -oh. oh, Japanese Bayonetta. <laughs> She's so good. Oh, right. That was a beautiful move. But she couldn't take advantage of that opportunity. That will cost her a lot. Alright, so definitely Ryu and Ken, because there's one fight left. And he's not going to just not have him in. Time for yeah. the final battle. It's hey! Not and Terry. Ryu, Ken, and then Terry. Thank God. Yeah. Zero, no more Master zero, Hand zero, Crazy zero, Hand zero, fights. Zero, 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 zero. In other words, it's kind of a theme fight. He's super strong, so I have to work hard. I'm not pacing this out very well. Capcom versus SMK. I'm starting from 150 HP, so I wish I defeated Ryu before my HP dropped to 100. But I can't give up until the end. I have a super special move. But Terry is last, so he can use the same super special move. But this is no time for chit chat. It's really tough doing this while talking. Oh no! This is no good. Got it! <laughs> it gets even tougher from here. I messed up a perfect shield. <laughs> Here he comes. I gotta be on guard. Nice. Yeah, but with a power wave? <laughs> if I could have pulled off a super special move, that would have been awesome. That would have been but, cool. Alright, did I make it to intensity 9.9? .9? Hey! Yes, that was hard work. Did you hack your own game to do that <laughs> soundtrack? <laughs>
<laughs> only reason he did it because Master Hand and Crazy Hand were on here. Yeah. Well, that's the only reason he didn't add them. So I hope you enjoy playing as him in such situations. Sweet. All right. Yeah, now we know why this is 45 Let's minutes long. We got five minutes this left. This time we have something very special lined up for you. I totally thought he was going to be talking about, like, mode, or, like, you know, future yeah, stuff. Yeah, no. When we were deciding which he just really loves that, yeah. we SNK. We thought about concentrating on songs related to Terry, but there were a lot of big band style songs that didn't really fit the mood of battle. That aside, the music of SNK has always been great, right from the beginning. So this time, we selected tracks that could be called SNK style. Basically, we expanded the selection a bit to include series outside of just Fatal Fury and The King of Fighters. It's like Metal Slug, maybe. Yeah, I guess so. SNK songs have always maybe. been great, really. This was true before Neo Geo, and all the way from the old The King of Fighters games to the arrangements in the latest installment, The King of Fighters 14. We did a lot of digging around, and finally managed to narrow our many candidates down to 50 songs. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. <laughs> we never Good intended grief. to do something like this, of course. Jeez. So we submitted our 50 proposals to SNK, expecting them to pick out maybe 10 or 20 Dear that they God. considered acceptable. But they told us they were okay. <laughs> they spelled received wrong. As a result, we've pretty much added in 50 songs. Pretty much. Have a look at the list. You couldn't have put in <laughs> Gruntilda Battle for Banjo. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't have, ended up with the list couldn't have done 11. Jesus. Some of the best uh, because he doesn't love Banjo enough. That is ridiculous. Case, and I don't think we'll be able to do the same yeah, this series. like tops the to Castlevania honest, one with 34. To hear such a selection wow. Battle Slug. Yeah. Worth quite a bit more than its price. yeah, this is absurd. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> I do hope you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Wow. Challenger Pack 4 comes with a spirit board too. The spirit board can yeah. be selected via the spirits menu. Have a look at the background. If it That's looks cool. familiar to you, you'll oh. start feeling pretty nostalgic. Stage. Shinkiro san's artwork is always so nice and vibrant, isn't it? You can also look forward to mock tournaments featuring each of the characters. Oh, it's not the Ruru. Athena and Ralph and Clark artwork oh. really is something. Now for the Mii Fighters. Please have a look. We have a... Fem Terry Mii, Mii Fighter costume. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's probably all gonna be S and K. Yeah. Okay. Nakaruru. <laughs> Does it come with the, the bird? No, that's a Pokemon. Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> I haven't played Pokemon since the whoa since the original Gold and Silver. Art of fighting. Rio. Okay. Yep. Iori. It's like all the guys who got um who missed the invitation in his reveal trailer. Yeah, that's true. We're gonna get one for geese. Virtual fighter. Uh, uh, okay. Oh. Hey. I thought there was already one for him. Maybe there was in Smash 4. Yeah, probably that was it. That's Akira, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he has an assist he's trophy. He's an assist trophy. Yeah. Oh, Rock. Wait, is that Rock? Jackie. Oh, Jackie. I'm looking over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that was Rock for that. Okay. So that Frogger leak is dead. <laughs> They said there was going to be a Hollow Knight me costume. Ah. Uh. Man, I was really hoping for Frogger. <laughs> Available November 6th. November 6th. So I guess that means Terry's like pretty much out. SNK was also involved with the Mii Fighter set this I guess time, so. so it has a strong fighting game influence. It borrows a lot from the series Nakoruru comes from, like her wind slash attack, so I hope you'll enjoy those little details. Moving on to Amiibos, Amiibos. here's the new lineup. <laughs> Here we go. Simon, Krom, and Incineroar. Each of these will be released on Friday, November 15th. Oh. 
Next, let's discuss the details of the updates. We've made some improvements to battle arenas. First, we're making it so you can send messages to each other in a battle arena. The messages are preset. So there's that, and also, the player who created the arena can now change the rules. We've also added the option to play either battlefield form or omega form at random in the stage settings. Aside from that, you can now pick elite only as an arena type. Furthermore, quick play won't be the only way to play with people you don't know. As long as the arena type is set to public and no password is set, we've made it so anyone is now free to join. So I hope you'll enjoy that. Terry is due for distribution on November 6th. If you have the fighter's pass, you'll be able to get him straight away, or you can purchase him separately. Well, I think that wraps it up for our Terry Bogard showcase. I hope we were able to convey his appeal. By the way, his reveal trailer was aired in advance. It was created using SNK pixel art. The complete version of it, including the gameplay portion, is finally ready. I'd like to show it to you ah. after this. Okay. Now this is something of an inside story, but I of course wrote the plot for SNK's pixel art pack reveal trailer. When the invitation comes out, you might recall how it says, Don't be late, S. That is not what I wrote. It makes me think, ugh, this is why I hate inside jokes. After leaving it to the staff, it snuck its way in there. <laughs> no. I just want you to know that the S is also the Super Smash Brothers series S. Well then, let's move on to the intro movie. <laughs> it's Gino. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Surprise! <laughs> Out of nowhere! He lied. Yeah. <laughs> this is still an awesome trailer. Gino picks it up. <laughs> You're hoping so hard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, come on! Yeah. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> it says Neo Geo on the cap. Mm. He is. Uh, he said earlier his different alts have different ah. cap designs. Oh Kirby! Oh Fatal Fury cap for Kirby. Kirby doing power wave. Mm. Hello wave. <laughs> I hope Kirby says it. Yeah. Are you okay? Speed up snake. Why? Who knows? Terrence! <laughs> yeah. That's that a better it? trailer. That is. Oh. We crammed in a little too much content this time. Hopefully, I'll be able to make future showcases a little shorter. <laughs> Is that it? There we go. <laughs> That's funny. All right. <laughs> nice. Okay. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Wow. That was solely just like 
Yeah. I I did. I don't think anyone expected him to just play through the freaking the classic uh, mode. classic mode. Yeah. Yeah. He just wanted to like really <laughs> show off Terry, I guess. Which is fine. Yeah. No, I mean, um, I'm not into fighting games like at all besides Smash, but uh, I it's good seeing like. So, like, you see people, like, I don't know Doug Bowser personally or any of these guys, but you see yeah. these, like, middle-aged guys walk out there. They're just faces. And, like, now I'm going to talk about a game series that I personally love. And, like, right. it goes without saying that I love Legend of Zelda, and it's like, how many Zelda games have you played, middle-aged businessman? Like, <laughs> I mean, maybe a lot. I don't know. But, like, yeah. you certainly don't see him doing this, like, getting into it, and, like, Sakurai's talking about bread and butter combos and stuff. Like, right, yeah. So it's cool seeing someone, like doing something that they really like yeah and uh it's like someone who was a fan of that stuff and like actually into that stuff has risen to the top and is now doing their thing but they're still like passionate about it yeah and yeah i'm not trying to dump all over those other guys yeah because no. i mean it's just cool to see like I just how mean, he's yeah. super into something yeah and he's like he made this really long like you know uh what we call this presentation yeah. yeah just to show off terry which uh yeah which is cool totally thought we were getting like a lot more patch notes or something right now no, there wasn't just it terry was just and S &K. yeah the update was like uh we updated some yeah. online stuff you were just like let me show you the freeze frame three times of like what this move looks like yeah <laughs> yeah 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 this is and uh, all the freaking cameos 20 cameos all the yeah. all the movie tracks not movie tracks, music tracks. Yeah. Yeah, so of the DLC, aside from Piranha Plant, this is like the least, personally the least interesting to me, but it, like, it was still a cool presentation. I'm not going to complain. Like, right, yeah. There's a lot of different games out there and a lot of different... Uh, it's not one that of, got you super yeah, excited. Yeah, but I mean, that's fine. Like, yeah. it, They weren't all going to be. Like, He's trying to appeal to a bunch of different types of people, and he's personally really into this, and I'd rather him you know go for yeah. something that he that he likes so i'd like i mean i'd rather something like this than like i guess minecraft is really big so i'll put in minecraft like not right. that i'd be opposed to minecraft but just like i'd rather it not be as cynical as like straight up marketing and like uh -huh. what is the most successful what is the most recognizable let's get more people to buy the game i mean i know they have to do that to an extent but anyway mm -hmm. yeah Although, I mean, this was kind of doing that, because, you know, I guess a lot of people who play fighting games know who Terry Bogart is. Yeah. Anyway. Although, I had, I had never really, like, gotten into, like, any of the SNK fighting games or any of that. Like, I had already always, like, seen Terry and stuff, but I was more into the Capcom stuff and, like, Mortal Kombat and whatnot. The chat's still going, and I'm just like, yeah. That would have been a perfect time for Eggman to hack the stream and have the master plan. Someone just commented that. All right. All right. I, I guess we're done here. Yep. I'm going to turn off my camera now and go to sleep and teach some children tomorrow. I won't because no class. All right. You have no class and then no school the next day. Yep. This guy's done teaching for the week. I'm done. All right. You guys have a blessed evening. Say happy birthday to Bobby. Yay. Goodbye in like a few days. Okay, bye.